What is going on, everybody? McLaren Speed Shop World Champion coming at you, and the day is here. OP07 in the sim, and we got to test it out because uh, OP07 is going to be great for us. It is, for here in the West, going to be the summer of law once we EB01 comes out. We still got a little bit for that. We got a few weeks, so once we get EB01, we get King Killer and Bon Clay, and then when OP07 comes out, we get this card right here, Sanji, and this card is sick. <laughs> it's so cool. Uh, six cost, 6,000, but its ability is when you have two or four fewer Don than your opponent, this card becomes a three cost in hand. So, and with the ruling, in case uh, anyone's wondering, you can bring him in immediately off in leader ability. Obviously, you'll be down on Don, so it's not the most optimal thing early game, but you can technically, it, uh, you're allowed to to do that, so depending on the game, you drop uh, whatever, use Law's ability, and you can bring in Sanji as a, as long as, just pay attention to make sure you're going to be two less, uh, at least two down lower than your opponent, but then you can bring in Sanji as a three cost, and so it works off in our leader ability, which is sick. But also, the reason why this is, card is great is because on the field it's a six cost, which against the removal decks is massive, and it's at 6k, so against the high uh the other decks like yellow and everything that play the boss cards and then only are attacking leader 5k it's a free block with that and yeah sanji is going to be a super sick card and i can't wait to be able to get this and yeah the rest of my deck i feel like this i don't know i'm not don't want to jump into anything anything too crazy just this is the the day one deals for me i have not looked at op07 at all i have no idea what the OP07 leader decks are going to have in them or anything like that. So we're just going to play things kind of, I feel like, safe. So just doing a normal thing. I have like the six, uh, Max and Gordon. You could bump this up to eight if you want. You want to go four and four and then play around the different numbers. I feel like that works too. It's uh, just stuff like that. But yeah, for me, we're just playing, wanting to play fast. I only have three Zoros because, uh, I don't know, me mess around with this because you don't I feel like we don't want too much rush because the problem with having too much rush is uh, you get caught especially early game if we, that's a uh, what we got if you can't defend so that's why I just have the three Zoros and then we kid and killer I feel like especially the end game being able to do our like our setup where you use leader ability bring in kid and killer and then go for the finishing move is gonna be insane because again kid and killer's ability uh your opponent is less than two cards you are at 7k attack and with having rush you then put any of your other active don and pretty much ko anyone with that combo but yeah pretty standard stuff we have uh i don't know, I feel like a fairly standard law build definitely want to do some other variants though i will be jumping into just some other other strats you may be able to do but i feel like this is at least from i don't know this sort of the pretty decent build i feel like uh depending on your play style and stuff you make this work and yeah also gonna be an exciting summer too because this law the like the toy law the promo law is super expensive right now but during the summer especially once we get to like op07 and everything there is a reprint coming for this card and it should be pretty cheap because uh so if you are interested in this and you don't have it i'd say wait if you if you can because you'll be able to save a lot of money because this card right now is like 30 dollars usd last time i checked and with the prices of uh some of the other cards that's nuts <laughs> so I, I would definitely say wait if you don't have this card yet and because the reprint is coming and so to make things a lot easier but yeah besides that pretty much op07 we'll play around with some other like builds and stuff but sanji is going to be our key pick up there because also 2k counter that's it's such a good card <laughs> it's such a great card and i can't wait to be able to get this but yeah let's jump into some games and see how things go all right we got nl we're gonna see what we can do nl is i mean our nemesis from <laughs> for forever <laughs> and they're they're pretty good against us because of uh they got a new card that is the 10 cost ace that they're able to drop and it just gives them a life it's just uh, pretty nuts. Like, it's a pretty, pretty strong for them. So, we'll attack them five and five. They take the life. And then I will drop, uh, we'll drop Bon Clay. I guess I should have done that first. It was him and me. And then into the boys to get us there. 
And yeah, we'll just kind of play around that and see what happens. So they may have Gadatsu potentially. They didn't attack us, so yeah, assume they got that, which is, I mean, gonna happen at some point here. So we're at six. Problem is, I can't remove this, but they're at seven cards in hand, so we'll drop this, use a card action, delete two of their cards. So we got rid of a 2k, like that leaves me with two. Um, alright, well, I'll attack them. Five on five. Okay. Of course, they get the, the Onami. <laughs> That's a bit annoying. Alright, well, let's just try to attack him down. Hit seven there, and then we go one, two, three, because I kind of have to with uh, with all this, because yeah, two, five. We'll bring in Ray, because uh, yeah, if they want to hand starve, I'll drop Ray, and we'll go from there. But now I have Max, so I can at least finally get rid of something. And we can play around that. But yeah, we have Kid and Killer who we got them down to the one. So we can do that as well. They're not at 10 yet, so I don't have to worry about Ace. And the next turn, they probably drop. They're going to drop. If they're not, if they're going for the hand solve, they're going to drop Yamato. So. Um, what do I have? We're going to do this. And. You know, block that. And then I'll use Sanji here. Actually, no, I probably should keep Sanji. We'll just bait this then. Okay. This I can. Sanji's only a three cost. So that's pretty good. They're at six. I mean, okay. They drop the the Rigo there. So that leaves me here. So I'm at four. They're at seven. So that means Sanji is only a three cost. Hmm. So I drop Sanji who's going to be six and then I can bring in Beppo to get rid of this I feel like I want to just attack no I can't because they're at one there so yeah let's just deploy Max here onto that there I can drop uh, Sanji and not have to worry about that we'll go three get rid of that bring in Beppo alright now we have <laughs> just the, the rush threat and so oh, we'll see what happens from uh, here on out. Because Sanji's at 6, so he's safe from Yamato. Dang, they had another Gadatsu. <laughs> Dude, that's nuts. <laughs> Alright, well, they got the the good stuff there. Okay, um, how do I go with this? I attack 5, I attack 7. Why well, do I just drop Ray? Get 2 cards. Alright, well, yeah, let's just attack 5 here. I'll drop Ray, get two cards, and go from there. All right, they do that. We'll throw down Ray. Gives me the two there. Um, okay. Because now if they drop anything crazy, I am blocked with Sanji with the leader. Their leader attack. So, let's see what we can do. I just need to make it. I mean, if they refill their life, it's going to be annoying. So if they use, uh, yeah, Yamato. Okay. So that puts me here at six. All right. So I'm at six. What can I do here? I could drop Ray again. And then that leaves me with two. All right. Let's do that again. So we'll drop Ray again. Ooh, I get Kid. And I get this. Hmm. I mean, I could go seven, attack them down. Bring in Beppo again. Alright. I think that's what we'll do. As long as I don't get like a, a crazy life trigger, we're okay. Alright. Go one, two, three. I'll bring in another Beppo. Because if they're doing this, <laughs> I just gotta play around it. Because they only get one. They only get one character a turn. <laughs> so we're fine. Because again, these are all cards we can get. So Yamato again. Alright. So, they're just doing that. I mean, this kind of plays for our strength here, though. Because now I can remove this. I got drop kid. Alright. Um, so, where are we at? Six. I move this. I'd get one back. Okay. So, we'll do max on that. 
I'll drop a uh, drop kid down. I'll go one, two, three. Scoop that out. Bring in Shariah probably. So yeah, let's bring in Shariah here, and then I'll attack him six and five. So I'm gonna block. Oh, they're not blocking it out. Okay. Oh, well, we're fine with that. All right. So I'm gonna be at six. So we can do Zoro Kid Killer. Let's see what we got. I'm still at four life because again, I can still. I can block around a bunch of any big drops here. We're blocking the leader, and keeping these like this. So I mean, they could KO Kid, but it doesn't super matter. Eight cards in hand. Pretty much, uh, I mean, if they have a bunch of high costs and are bricked up, then we have a shot. But we'll see what happens. I do have the advantage of some rush. I'm going to hit a little potential drop Zoro and Kid and Killer. And we could go for it next turn. But we'll see. As, uh, if they drop Ace, it gives them the one. But they wouldn't rush right now. They're just pretty. They just gotta keep dropping. Uh, they're like removal characters like this. All right, they drop the the Rigo. Okay. So they got rid of Shariah. Oh, all right, sure, surely we're on fine with that. What do they have for four? Okay. It's a. Uh... Oh, okay. So I'm gonna try to block out here and then uh, go for the game next turn. All right. So I have Shariah again. So I could. Uh... I have Otamas, so I could drop this down to five and this down to six. That's with three. That leaves me with three. I, if I clear both of these out, or I could guarantee get one if I use all three. So guarantee get one. I have one. And that leaves me with three, so I could use Shariya. Hmm. All right, well, let me just attack uh, five and five. Let's see what they do here. So they block that. Okay. Um. That leaves me three. If I use three, drop Shariya. Bring in. I guess it doesn't super matter who I bring in. Alright, attack him again, 5 and 5. Because even if they drop uh, something crazy. Okay, so they do that. Alright, so let's do Otama on this one. So I guess it's down to 7. And then. This gets it down to five. So what do I want to do here then? I could drop Zoro, attack it, and see what they do. Or do I? Do, yeah, I'll drop a. Uh, I'll drop Zoro. Attack a five and five. Because then, uh, ooh, they take the hit there. Okay, if I bring in Max then, drop this down to six, I can then bring in Kid and Killer and attack it. Alright. Do this. Out of there. Okay, and then I'll go... One, two, three. Because with the two blockers and that, I can bring in Kid and Killer. We get one. So this is going to be... Eight on six. And we'll see what happens. If we get rid of both of them here, that'd be super clutch. Okay, they stack that. Um, What's that? Six. So if I tack this. If they drop a uh, ace, I can block leader. Hmm. But if they have a way to get rid of Sanji, then it's a bit of a problem. Alright, we'll risk it. Why not? We're going for it all right here.
So I'll just tag it with both, I guess. So they do that. Um, depending on what they have, the attack hit, take the block, and then I can block out of a leader. So like either way, all right, we'll call it good there. So they drop Ace, then I can block Ace with Sanji, and then I can block out of the leader with these two. Nine on five. Okay, so they're playing like that. Okay, that's fine because I have Zoro, and we do that. All right, so they drop Ace. Okay, so ten on six there. Um, no, we'll keep a kid because I get kid's ability. Okay, and then they're not even attacking there. Okay, so we have them um, at two. Okay, so let's uh, we're going for it. I have a Zoro to bring in at the end here, so I need. We'll attack five. Okay, so they block that with the one. Um, I guess we'll do. All right, let's let's try six. I need the math to to work out here. But if they get something crazy right here, then oh my. All right. Well, well that's a bit unfortunate, isn't it? <laughs> Okay, um, well, we only, they only have one card in hand, if I, I can play, I guess we're dropping Shariah, and then we'll go one, two, three, I'll bring in Law, okay, well, <laughs> this is all we can do. Man, of course they get the Capone, alright, well, it'll be a bit tough, we'll see, we'll see what happens. So they're attacking just five on five there. Um, no, they'll just block that with that. So they have another ace that they drop. I have these blockers, but luckily, I'll at least know what they have in hand. If they get some more, if they get another component or something, then yeah, there's something we can do about that. That's crazy. <laughs> But, alright, it's still not over because, again, we'll be at 6 Don, and if I have just multiple attackers in the field, we're okay. It's just, again, they're going to get two, two more chances at some crazy life triggers that can bail them out of this game. And that's where it'll come down to, so we'll see. Alright, they're attacking me. Um, I don't know if they have anything too crazy, so I'll just block... Uh, We'll block that there. In case they do have another ace. Because if they, well, if they do, so 10 on 5. Okay. And then another ace. And then on there. Alright, well, that's uh, also unfortunate. Ooh, we get Kid and Killer. So I can drop Zoro here for three. Then I put one here, seven. Okay, well, we'll attack five. See what happens. Okay, so they don't have that there. All right, so I'll drop, uh, drop Zoro here. We'll attack five again. Okay, so they block that. All right, um... How do I want to do this? I can do... Well, we know they already took the, the hit there. Okay, don't be... Okay, we're actually fine with that. Okay, um... Because, yeah, they have to do that. So we can attack them six on five. All right, and they got bailed out. They got the ace. We get the kid and killer. There's nothing they can do. We're just throwing all the Don on them. Why not? For funsies. Blast them. 11 and 5. And dude, what a what a battle that was. <laughs> that was like a amazing, like a super amazing game. Oh, they're already gone, I think. Dang it. Well, I was going to tell them amazing game. <laughs> that was awesome. <laughs> they they went for the, the stall method because they had the Gadatsus. We went, turn, we went turn 10 with NL. 
my goodness, absolute uh, madness. That was nuts. That was a, a crazy one. We had, I mean, surviving the aces. But yeah, got Ray pretty pretty clutch there for us at the uh, the right moments there, even with the me being a little goofy. But uh, yeah, we again. Obviously, yeah, the hand star thing sucks, but Ray is the the counter to that. If they you get Ray, if they're hand starving you. You get Ray, then it doesn't matter if they hand star you because again, we're pumping out so many pumping out two characters a turn, and at some point, because they got to play around their life stuff as well, we're going to overwhelm them because they only have like Yamato and Gadatsu to kind of do that. But also, too, super clutch was. Our man Sanji, dude, that was nuts. <laughs> Sanji being at six uh, stops them from being able to do that because again they would go down to the one. We're at the four, so even if they drop uh, Yamato, they can't. He's at six cost, so safe from all that shenanigans there. And yeah, dude, what a lovely game. That was sick. All right, we got some boa action. Don't know what to expect here. Um, I don't think it's blue, so I think we're safe to do this. But we'll see. So, with Boa, alright, while well, they're attacking us, 8 on 5, that's fine. We get Kid, okay, cool. Alright, so how do I want to go about this then? I can drop, I could drop Shariah and then go here, or do we wait a turn? But I don't have, well, I could drop Zoro then. I could drop Zoro or Shariah, and then we just wait one. Alright, well, let's attack them, 6 on 5, see what they do. And then, yeah, I guess we'll play a little patient. So they block that. Um, so will they be at five? I don't have a two. I'll play the safe thing. We'll just drop a uh, drop Shariah. I want to get to six so I can drop Kid and then go into the boys. And then obviously we have Gordon on the field, so we don't have to worry too much here. But soon they're gonna be bouncing some cards back and forth from their hand and going from there. What do I want? I want to. We'll do this and then I'll get rid of Beppo just so I can bring in Ray the turn after. And get the, make sure we get the the benefits there. So they drop the Jinbei into Law. Okay. So they they bounce Law back back to their hand there. Interesting. All right. Um. Well, I'll drop Kid down. I'll use this onto Jinbei here, and then we'll go one, two, three. Get that out. Go into the boys. Do the boys first. Gives me the two. And then I can attack. Attack them. Seven on five. So they sack both of those. Okay. Now I'm going to attack uh, five on five. With the uh, Shariah. So. I feel they didn't expect that. But I have Kid. Who's going to be six. And then. Depending on what they got. Oh. Okay. So they drop this. I mean. A bit annoying. <laughs> but it is what it is. All right, I'm at eight, they're at seven. How many cards in hand do they have? Ooh, six. Hmm. Well, Bon Clay. All right, I'll attack two seven. Let's attack with the, uh, attack with one seven. And then if they take the life. Okay, or they're gonna do that, interesting. Now I could drop a, uh, well, where would we be at? If I drop on Clay, I'm at 8. That puts me at 9. Then I go down 3. Then I can go into Ray. And so that leaves me 2. Alright. And so I'll attack him again. 7 on 5. And then, uh... Okay. Well, they get that, which is a bit annoying as well. But what can you do? Um... Do that. So I'm at 9. I'll go 1, 2, 3... So that puts him at seven. Now I'm at six. We'll drop Ray, get two cards there, and then we'll call it good there. All right. Well, them getting the the bailout trigger a bit annoying, but I assume with blue they want to drop some big cards. So if they can't, if they don't have like Mihawk, then they'll won't be able to do too much there. Um, that's five. So I'll probably get rid of uh law now so we'll just block that okay they dropped the boa and doflamingo 
Interesting. All right. So it leaves me at eight. So I can scoop this out, like easy. If I, hmm. Yeah, I guess we got to do that. So deploy Max onto that. Oh, uh, let me drop Kid down, and then we'll go one, two, three. Scoop that out. I'll do Ray again. Gives us these cards. So I'm at six now. They're at nine. I could drop Sanji for free here. And so let me just blast them with attacks then. So they block that. Okay. And then I'll attack again. So they do that. And then... Um, they only have one card in hand. And so, yeah, let's just drop Sanji then. Alright. And we'll get our... We got our blocker Sanji. Dude, this card is so cool. <laughs> it's it's awesome. Um, what do I want to do here? Oh, well, I guess yeah, we'll take that. And then they drop another boa. Okay. Oh, well, I can just block any of these. And then drop a all right. So the boa blocker, they don't have a Don on it, so they can't uh, do that. I could, well, I mean, I can just pick apart their entire field right here if uh, I want to. Because so I can attack this, like right now, with, uh, with two. So, let me just do this. Alright, well, they take that, which is fine. Because I can keep the boys there, Shariah there as well. Um, I just have one spot here. But, yeah, I'll just do this. I mean, I could just drop, a, do a big old Zoro barrage here, I guess. I drop Zoro, and then play around that. Okay, attack him again, five on five. Okay, cool. Drop Zoro, attack him again, five on five. All right. Um, and then I'll go one, two, three. Bring in. Zoro again on top of Zoro. I could do a seven. Alright. They take that. Um, one card, one card. I have two to make sure I get them down. As if, I doubt they have any. I don't think they have any rush, right? So we'll just do that. Okay. So, uh, dropping the search. But even if they do, I do at least have this plus the two life, so. I think we're chilling. They have Boa. So, drop Boa again. Okay. I mean, I don't know why they put it there. Alright. So, yeah, I've got Bon Clay. So, there's just straight up, like, nothing they can do. Uh, no. We'll do this and that. Just to, just for fun. Yeah, now they know. <laughs> There's nothing they can do. We got them uh, kind of locked up with uh, that previous turn. Because Bond Clay is going to attack them for 8k minimum. I have all this. There's literally mathematically nothing they can do here. So we'll see how that goes and what happens there. Potentially. All right, they they called it good because <laughs> they, yeah they knew what was coming, <laughs> but yeah I I don't know again I have no idea what to expect with the OPO seven seven looked at nothing we're still uh, we're not even in the West here and uh, not even to EBO one yet so I'm uh, not spending like any time looking at this stuff but it is fun to mess around with though and I can't wait for it because dude the Sanji rips it's so sick <laughs> there's just so much stuff we can do and especially just the combos with the Again, I don't know, if you're, it just feels so much fun because you're, you're just flowing with so much stuff with our ability and stuff like that. There's just so many different things that we can hit and do and it's, it's cool and I am very, very excited for, for the future and yeah, it's going to be a pretty great summer. All right, we got the Law v. Law action here. We are uh, not going first which is unfortunate but or we are going first which is unfortunate you want to go second in this matchup just because uh 
it allows you depending on what you're doing a bunch more things it gives you you get the extra card to draw oh they're dropping ain Ooh. okay they're doing ain to ace all right well that's not ideal there now is it i'm gonna drop uh oh never mind no they're not ain to the the boys okay we're actually fine with that then because i can go i can drop this scoop one of them leaves me as one that i can also bring in the the boys as well so let me just attack them six on five and now we're just into the battle of attrition here onto all this stuff so one two three do that into the boys pretty much is just going to turn into who runs out of stuff first now because i thought they were going to go like aim to ace potentially which would have been not great but yeah now they can get kid though if they drop kid they have the one so with gordon to remove something but we do have a gordon of our own and for us now we can pretty much just mirroring them because <laughs> we're now going to be at six so that means i can drop kid and then use gordon to remove and then go into the, the boys again so we'll see how it goes again the disadvantages of going first is which uh why i think second is a little bit better is just because you get the extra that like one extra card which could be pretty big in the game so they're attacking five on five we can take that oh okay we get sanji that's actually pretty clutch as well i will block this one though so we're gonna do this we'll have to sack um sack otama because i have gordon and max so oh they're dropping shiraya and zoro hmm they don't have any oh they don't have any power reduction okay so i attack with zoro here what do i want to do there then so if i get kid set up it's kind of free i guess we'll sack oh they're not attacking okay um so what do i want to do about this try to clear this get everything out of their hand because then i drop uh, this to remove i guess any of these it doesn't really matter and so all right we'll just attack five so if I can get rid of everything in their hand, all right, they just take the, the hit there. Interesting. Okay, well I'll attack him again five on five. And so they sack a ray. What? <laughs> okay, that's kind of nuts. And so let me deploy kid here then, and then we'll use we'll drop this onto that there. We we'll go one two three. Get that out. I'm at three. They're at four, so I can't bring in. Uh, Sanji here, so we'll bring in the boys again. So that gives me one. All right, they'll attack him six and five. Okay, they take a hit again. All right, I have the boys to use for 2k, I have Sanji to use for 2k. So we'll see what happens throughout here. We got them down to one, I'm gonna be at eight down next turn. And so we'll see how things go. We have a max as well to kind of play around things. So they're attacking me? Um, sure. I'm uh, pretty much just gonna go for like the game next turn. So I'll leave them with two. All right, well I'll do this and where am I at? This first, I'll do that and that. Oh, they're attacking again. Okay, um, I guess I'll just go for well, we'll play it safe. We'll do that and that. Just in case, because I do have a bunch of cards in hand. But I do have Gordon and Max, so we can kind of play around that. See what, okay, they're dropping Kid and Killer. Um, well, if they're smart, they'll attack one of our characters. Okay, well, can't do anything about that, but it doesn't super matter here. Oh, so we get Kid and Killer of our own. Okay, so I can pretty much just go for the game then. So let's just do seven on five. Again, if you're in the mirror, if you're able to attack for sevens, that's pretty much what you want to do because uh, we just deleted all those cards from their hand. So we get them down to the one there. Um, let me just do this. All right, well, I could just auto win right here, but I want to bring in Kid and Killer. <laughs> this, uh, I want to use Kid and Killer as well. So we'll go one, two, three, bring in Kid and Killer, and then it doesn't really matter. It's a seven on five. But yeah, there's the mirror. Obviously, the turning point. They had, uh, they ran out of, they didn't have any cost reduction. 
but they played. If you don't have your cost reduction, you got they had three rays. <laughs> you got it. You got to play around Ray to get <laughs> your like some sort of cost reduction to bring you back. That's uh, yeah. They were playing kind of crazy with it. I'm not gonna lie. Like uh, Ray is the sort of like in your matchup if you don't have the the stuff. Ray is the card to get get you the stuff. So them not dropping a Ray at any point when they got three is crazy because Ray single handedly can win you the mirror matchup just because you get the if you play around the Don you're gonna get the two cards and that's two cards that again you can play use as counter which can turn the game so obviously a uh, pro tip if you have a uh, Ray and you don't have like a power reduction in the the mirror match you you gotta try to get it or you're just gonna lose because uh, again especially knowing the weaknesses of law the more 7k if you're able to attack for 7k like consistently you're gonna destroy them because again our biggest issue is we need all the cards in our deck and especially when they're in our hand play such an important role for us to be able to keep up the aggression so needing to if you're able to attack for 7k again 7k minimum your opponent is discarding two cards so or they're taking the life hit so playing around that and yeah obviously opponent I don't know. They kind of just went for it all, I guess. Uh, the, <laughs> the previous turn. Uh, well, I, I, which I guess is pretty much a sign that they don't have the stuff. But I don't know. It could have been a different game if they would have played uh, around Raid to try to get some, some stuff there. But yeah, luckily, again, they had no power reduction. And we were able to just keep up the pace. And then, again, it's a removal deck. It's pretty much the same thing. I play them the same way as any other removal. You just get that one turn where they can't remove your stuff and you're good and it's just the battle of attrition that way in the in the mirror all right we got some robert lucci action here who is now a leader so we'll see how this goes this is oh they got their stage off the rip all right not ideal for us i'm not gonna lie their stage is pretty good but we're going first so we'll hit them with the the eight the eight k strat but yeah with their stage here they just get like a uh, minus two so they got tempest kick there all right we gotta take this i need it's hoping for some power reduction but on play okay so we don't have to worry about that which is decent um how do i go about this then because i have we got the ramp so i have this problem is i don't have any power reduction i have kid and killer i have zoros I may try to get we may I might do this right here so let me drop this down I'll go one two three bring in Beppo give us one and then we'll tack six and five see what happens here they have a 2k all right so we got rid of the 2k and see what they do around this so they're gonna attack minus this down get this down to two probably well, maybe. I don't know what the... I know the old Kaku thing was three. So, never mind. They might be able to do that on there, right? So, cost minus one. Um, Okay, get back. Okay, the duplicates are kind of nuts. Right here. So, they drop Kaku. Alright. So, KO cost of three or less. Alright. So, do they have the CP cards? Okay, well, I mean this is kind of all right though, so we keep this on the board. We have Bond Clay, which I don't need. So six, six. Problem is I have eight cards in hand. I need Ray. I need some pot. Like we don't have. I don't have anything. So that's not great. I may just need to go into rush mode. I guess I'm at six. They're at six, so I have to go down first for that. So I go drop Bond Clay. So we'll drop Bond Clay there. Then I could do, so that puts me at 7. If I attack 5, I drop a Zoro attack 5. And then bring in Zoro again, attack 5 maybe. We'll just do a bunch of 5s. <laughs> I'll just do, we'll go around that. Alright, so then I'll drop uh, drop Zoro. We'll attack 5 on 5. Alright, they blocked that, which is fine. 1, 2, 3. I also want to bring in another Beppo here, and then next turn we just go all out with the Zoros. 
So, because if I bring in Beppo, um, it gets me to five, and I can attack with this one. Okay, so I'll do that. So I'm at five, they're at six. I'll attack a, another five on five. And then next turn, we're just gonna go Zoro, Kid and Killer, and do that stuff, I guess. But, I mean, not ideal. I probably should have dropped this to get rid of this. I think I goofed that up instead of the, uh, the Zoro. But we'll see. We'll see what happens. Depends on what they're able to bring. Um, okay, well, they cost minus this down. So we'll just take that. We'll take the hit there. See what happens from here on out. Because, uh,. They're at three. I'm trying to think here. So they're doing that. I'll block. Uh, we'll do that. And yeah, I might just go go for it all with these guys <laughs> next turn. Because I'm going to be at eight. Okay, eight on five. Okay, I can't do anything there. Leaves them with four. So this and then drop. I don't know what else they... Do they have Robert? Do they have the Robert Lucci himself? The card? <laughs> I guess we'll see. I don't know why they drop... Well, they're leaving Bon Clay up for us, so... We'll take that, because then I can attack them for... A 7. And we'll go from there. Oh, okay. Never mind, Rebecca. Okay. Well, that kind of will change some stuff. Cause I I could drop Ray. Okay. Um. So I'm at eight. They're at eight. Well, I pick apart their field here, then I can set them up for the next turn. So yeah, I'm at eight. They're at eight. So let's drop uh, this. Get two cards. So I get Max. So I could drop this down. To scoop this for sure, and then Rebecca. It doesn't really matter too much what they do around that. So it leaves me with four. If I attack them, I need to attack them with Bon Clay first though. So I can scoop up Kaku. So yeah, I'm at eight. I gotta wait for this. It leaves me with four. I gotta drop Zoro as well here, so. Alright. Attack them. Scoop that. See what happens. Okay, so they do that, which is fine. Because now I am going to attack this. Five on four. So they sack that, which is fine. Um, Let me throw down Zoro then. Attack it again. Five on four. All right, then I can throw down Max here onto this. And then we're going to go one, two, three. Get that out of here. We'll bring in... Uh, kid and killer and then I'll attack them five and five here so they black that attack them again five and five so they take that one all right now I have kid and killer again we're gonna be at eight Don we'll see what they got here and see if we can overwhelm them to for the next turn so I can block if they do attack anybody we're blocking when we have this so seven or less we're blocking and going from there, unless they attack Bon Clay, I guess. Bon Clay. But Bon Clay, they have to get rid of if they attack. If they drop any big cards, they like have to get rid of Bon Clay. So, we'll see. I don't know what uh, they may have. But, see what they got going. So, they're attacking Bon Clay. So, yeah, we gotta take that. But, if we play around the other stuff, they're at two. We'll see. We'll see what happens. Because, again, Kin Killer. They don't get rid of Kid and Killer, but we're at, he's attacking 7k. So, I don't know if they realize that, because they put the, the one on Beppo. So, I feel like people are used to Beppo and not used to Kid and Killer right now. So, we'll see what happens. Again, it's the early days here. But, unless they, I mean, if they have the other Robert, and they have, uh, like, cost reduction. Okay. Alright, never mind, they're just dropping Moria. So into Rebecca, into, all right, the, the Suru here. So at least with two. So what's, what's the two cost? 
I, 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 maybe it's a, like, so yeah, Brooke, okay, oh, okay, so I'll bring in Brooke, and then into the search, so Kaku for 2k, okay, interesting, so I drop this, scoop this out, and then I'll bring in like whatever I guess so let me drop another kid and killer one two three get rid of Rebecca I'll bring in um I guess this and put it on this I guess so it leaves me with four these both are at seven so let's just uh tack them seven seven on five because we know they have a 2k so so they take that which is fine. Now I'll attack him again, seven and five. So they take the hit there. Um, attack him again, seven and five. All right, they take the the hit on that as well. Okay. Um, attack him five and five. And we'll see. All right, they they don't have anything for two more attacks. So yeah, we'll take that. And yeah, there's the the dub on on Robert. I guess it wouldn't have mattered if they would have left Beppo and got rid of uh, Kid and Killer, because uh, they did have this Robert, so. But, what is this one? And after this, if your trash is 10 more cards. Okay, Tempest Kick. And then, 10 or more cards, give up to one of your opponents, minus 3. Okay, that's cool. I mean, this stage is pretty good, I feel like now, especially with this. I don't know, I guess the leader ability isn't the best, you may, but I mean, it works together so you can get your other cards, your minus cost cards now. And yeah, I don't know. It's kind of fun. Obviously, we have a, a long history with uh, Robert, <laughs> with the this card in particular. And yeah, there we go. Dealing with uh with that. I'm not super sure. I guess with this Brook. Yeah, I don't know the the deck well enough to know what their their stuff is. But yeah, we we're able to bring things back there, which is uh, cool. Started a little slow with uh, not having any cost removal, but then we were able to wipe their field. Pretty much then, the tables turned in our favor there. And then obviously, we went to, we got sort of their rush chain going. A little bit too much for them. But yeah, Kid and Killer, who has his Oro, especially against removal decks, are going to be pretty key. But yeah, that was a pretty fun one. And yeah, Bon Clay, I think, is good too, because the. Uh, Again, Bon Clay rested. Your opponent has to like get rid of them because Bon Clay is just so strong with uh, being able to take the power of uh, your opponent's stuff. But yeah, we'll uh, again day day one experiment with the uh, OPL seven stuff, wanting to uh, see how things go. And yeah, I'm excited. I think it's gonna be great. The deck RPL is a ton of fun to play, but. Yeah, we'll probably experiment I'll probably experiment around with a couple other little builds here, but I don't want to dive too much into this just because, uh, again, uh, here in the West and stuff, we're still really far away from being able to play. Uh, like it's OP07 and everything. We got to get there first, but the future is bright, though. Not going to lie. It's going to be a lot of fun, and I cannot wait to uh, be able to play Law and everything and be up there and be able to kind of take out anybody. It's going to be sick. But, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, and see you in the next one. Alrighty. So, jumping into the game against the, one of the sleeper decks in the future, Zoro Sanji. This is uh, something I may see some people using, but we'll see. We'll slide out a Gordon because I have another Gordon and another Max in hand, and depending on what they got going on. All right, attacking... Five. Okay, cool. We get Sanji, which may help in this uh, matchup. So they're hitting the two. I mean, that's kind of okay. Was, uh, but what do I want to do here? So I'm at... So this is at, what, five? Hmm. A drop on Clay. We could make a play to get rid of both of them here. I could use Gordon there. So... I have the boys so here we go we'll drop that so I can make Gordon I can minus this down and then also minus this down to uh, two and just attack it so we'll get a see what happens here attack five on two 
and just do this because I have a bunch here. Throw that out on there, and then we'll go one, two, three. Scoop that, bring out the boys there. All right, and back to four. Put us in the spot, clear the board for any of their shenanigans potentially, and then we'll make things uh, happen here. We'll take another one, get another card back. All right, and we get Shariah. All right, well, we got a bunch of options we can do now. All right, we got three Shariahs. Okay, um, so what is this one? Draw one card if there is less than, all right, five cards are less in hand. So I could, let's just, you know what, why not? Let's just erase everything they have. We'll take everything from them. Um, I'll drop the Shariah. We'll go one, two, three. Get that out. Bring in Sanji. So now we just got the the blocker barrage here. And now we'll attack him five on five. Okay, they take that. All right, interesting. And now we'll attack him seven on five. All right. So we're just keeping just ultimate board control. Uh, we have Shirai to block the leader. And then we also, if they attack 5k, that Sanji's at 6k. Dude, this card's going to be so much fun for uh, when we're able to, when we get this. It's going to be sick. I can't wait. So, all right. Well, we're fine with this. And so, well, how many cards do I have in? Seven. I'll do this and block there. If they have four. What is this? If you have five or more cards in your hand, this card gains double attack. All right, well, we're about to delete everything from their hand right here, so. Um, yeah, I'll launch uh, with Bon Clay here. Because Bon Clay is uh, a threat, so they pretty much have to do stuff. So I can put one on here to be able to attack there for seven. That leaves me, I could do two more sevens. Okay, and so we'll do a seven. And then we'll just keep the pressure on. Okay, interesting. So they do another one of those. All right, we'll attack him again, seven. All right, they take a hit there. Um, yeah, we'll throw one on Sanji here. Attack him again, seven on five. All right, and then, okay, they dipped out. I was gonna use our ability bring in one of our blockers and then we would have been big chilling but yeah dude <laughs> this deck is gonna just be be moving once we <laughs> get these cards but i don't know you might see a decent amount of zoro sanji because i know it's it's having some some sort of like sleeper success right now over in japan and stuff it's uh with people not knowing how to play against it but again just take away their ability like their leader ability if you can and you're big chilling